Hey Knicks fans, John Starks here. Fitness and conditioning are at the core of a professional and amateur athlete's training. It's important for everyone to learn how to stay fit and work at it every day. To help you out, my friends at the Hospital for Special Surgery, the official hospital of the New York Knicks, want to show you how to train like a Nick. Here's Scott Lasky. Hey, thanks a lot, John. I'm here with Pete Drejevich, a physical therapist and certified athletic trainer at Hospital for Special Surgery, and former Nick, Mr. John Wallace. What do you say, boys, we uh, hit the weights? Actually, we're gonna hit the floor. All right. The thing we're gonna look at is a progression for a squat. We get motion in the hips, we get motion in the knees, and we get motions in the foot and ankle, and you get core stabilization as well. So what we have people start out doing is keep your back flat, and I want you to rock back and forth, nice and easy. That's great. Two more just like that, that's absolutely perfect. Uh, Pete, is the uh, cracking sound normal? This one, you're old. Okay, up, now we're gonna go standing squat. So we progress from a, a position on the mat to standing when we're in a loaded position. Okay. So what we'll do, Scott, is I want you to put your hands above your head, feet shoulder width apart, and I want you to start hinging at the hips. You're gonna get your glutes, you're gonna get your quads, you're gonna get your hamstrings, you're gonna get your core. It's actually a good fan exercise. Amari Stoudemire slams it home. <laughs> Nick's just scored. <laughs> The next thing we might want to do is load it with a piece of tubing. Now, do three military press for me real quick. One, so now he's keeping his core oh, strong. Two, three, now look, hands look the, above you your head. you notice the game face, Pete, on this guy? Very look good, he's still got it. Are you it. making a comeback by the way? Tomorrow morning, okay, baby. Sure. Overhead, back at it. overhead squats now. Hinging at the hips and back up. Very good. So we're incorporating quads, we're incorporating delts, we're incorporating glutes. Hamstrings, core, everything. But we're also linking the whole lower body to the upper body, just like you would in a foul shot, a jump shot, getting a rebound. All right, what's next? The next thing is we don't always work with our feet on the ground. We're sometimes moving reciprocally, where one leg is moving and the other leg is stabilizing. So Scott's gonna put the tubing around his feet. All right. Okay, and I want you to do a tubing clock. And I want you to go to two o'clock position with the right foot back, three o'clock, Back, don't bring it too close. Four o'clock, back. Even announcers can do this okay. one. Okay. Okay, repeat it. Again, two, three, four. Is this for defense and for jazz hands? For both. Okay. Performing arts and athletics. The next progression from doing a TheraPan clock exercise, if you're dealing with someone that's a little bit more athletic, is you can actually have them put a waistband on, use some TheraBand and some tubing, and what you can do is we can have them do the same type of exercise but using a little bit more resistance and make it sport specific. If we have a person that's a little bit older and we're starting on this, we might just have them do side steps to the left. If we have a little more athletic person, they're gonna do a drop step backwards, good, and back. Now going forward, good. Okay, now what we could do, we can make it more dynamic and more explosive for the athlete. For him, I might have him do jumps back, forth, back, forth. Let's try that. Jump and then back. And repeat it forward. Good. One more each way. Wallace Dean it up. Look at you. I never played nice. D though. <laughs> Good. Perfect. The big takeaway points here are three things. When you do any type of activity, you always want to try to hinge at the hips. You hinge at the hips, you're gonna keep your back straight, you're gonna keep the motion and the body weight where it needs to be. The second thing is you're gonna keep your hips flexible and your core strong. And the most important thing is you're gonna have an unbelievable result and stay injury free. Pete, when's the massage? 10 minutes, baby. Come on, Knicks fans, who doesn't love a contest? Show us how you train like a Nick. Submit a short video for a chance to experience the team's training facility in Tarrytown, New York. Visit Hospital for Special Surgery on Facebook for more information.